Hello, my name is Stefan from openschoolsolutions.org, a web blog where I post about open source software that we use in our school and other tutorials. And today I want to introduce you to linuxmuster.net. So first of all, what is linuxmuster.net? If you manage IT in a school, you normally have to set up devices and users, computers, laptops, and you have to manage them and maintain them, install updates and things. Here we have a quick drawing of a simple network. Um, here you see your different computers. Maybe you have a computer lab or you have a cart full of laptops you have to manage. Um, you may maybe have a wireless LAN or um, yeah, you should have a firewall. Or um, um, maybe you have some additional web servers in your DMZ. And so there's different problems you, you have to solve every time. And linuxmuster.net is a solution to all these problems, to manage your users and also to manage your devices. It was developed and supported by one of the German state governments um, because they were looking for a school server for their schools, for the public schools. Today a small foundation organizes and supports the development of this project. It has a very helpful and supportive uh, community and it's really great. And there are hundreds of schools using this uh, software solution in their schools, in Germany especially, but also around the world. So next I'd like to introduce you some um, basics or some basic concepts of Linux Muster. Here you can see an overview uh, over linuxmuster.net version 7. You see it consists of several parts. We have the server here. We have some kind of software that manages the clients like computers, laptops, whatever. You can integrate your other servers like web servers or whatever you have. And for sure you need a firewall and maybe you have some external servers too uh, where you host like Moodle or Nextcloud or whatever you have. So I want to talk about some of the things um, in more detail now and first we talk about the server. So the server um, consists of a Zember Active Directory version 4 and this is a part where all your users and devices are managed. Um, so this is the core of linuxmuster.net. We have also the web UI. Web UI is a web interface to linuxmuster.net where you can manage everything. It's for admins, for teachers, um, students can log in. You can manage your different uh, rooms, computer labs. And um, yeah, there are some tools for classroom, for lessons, um, to hand out files, collect them and things like that. Um, all the other ones that are in different color, like green here, is like a radio server or mail server, or you can integrate like a Docker host to uh, host your containers if you want. This optional, so it's up to you if you want to use it or not. Um, integrated in the core is also a file server for the different home directories. And you can also use a print server, we use uh, cups in that for that. And the main or the second big part is uh, Limbo, Linux uh, network boot. This is there to manage all your Linux clients or Windows clients. So Limbo is um, like a small OS. It boots with Pixie and then you can manage your um, different operation systems on your clients. Um, I will talk about it in, in more detail in a separate video, but this is, uh, I think for me, one of the core features or the killer features actually of Linux Muster because it's so easy to manage your computers, different configurations, doesn't matter if you have like Linux clients only or Windows clients only or a dual boot, um, it can manage all of this. And this is uh, very, very helpful and to manage a lot of computers in a school without um, too much hassle. Okay, so this is the server part and like the core of linuxmuster.net. Then we have a firewall. Linuxmuster comes with OpenSense um, by default. Um, if you use OpenSense, it will uh, configure the firewall for you. Um, you can set up a, like a web filter or a VPN or other services you want to run your firewall, but you don't have to use OpenSense. You can use um, your firewall, maybe that's already in your school. 
Um, for example, we use PFSense, um, but if you have other um, even commercial firewalls, you can use them, no problem. And okay, next thing we talk about is all the extra stuff you can do in linuxmuster.net. So if you have extra web servers and you want to integrate them with uh, Zamba AD with Linuxmuster, like a file server or Nextcloud or Moodle or whatever you use um, in your school or want to use, it's no problem. You can connect them um, with Linuxmuster. And it's up to you if you host them outside of the school or inside on your servers. So it is possible to connect all of these uh, and sync the users between them. Um, yeah. Okay. So Linux Muster helps a lot to, to manage all of these. And especially with this part here, the school network. It helps a lot managing all the devices and all the users and move them from one school year to the other, enroll them in new classes. It has many tools that help you to do this. And so you don't need to spend a lot of time to manage users and laptops, devices, and everything else. So this is just a quick overview about what Linux Muster is and what you can use it for. In the next videos, I'll explain how to install every component and how to use it in school and especially what Limbo is, because this is one of the best features of Linux Muster, helping you to manage your computers and other devices in school. Okay, thanks for watching and see you in the next video.